What's growing on? This is Chris again at Hydroponics of Birmingham. Uh, today I'm going to make a short video about cloning. A lot of you guys have been asking for this video and I know I've been dragging my feet but honestly I wanted to kill two birds with one stone and take a video when I actually needed to take clones. So that's what we're going to do. Without further ado, let's talk about a few things. Uh, media. That's very important. There's a lot of different media out there, a lot of different ways you can go. I prefer the rapid rooters. If you look at this bag, they're actually pre-moistened, ready to go. The next thing we'll talk about is the housing. This is a seven inch dome. I like a taller dome. I prefer to take clones anywhere from two to six inches. This is a simple cell plug tray. It holds your uh, rapid rooters in. And then there's something to catch the water. You don't want water leaking everywhere and you know dirtying up the floor. Let's talk a minute about green pads. My buddy Marco, this is a great invention. And green pads are important because if you think about the nature of clones, they don't have any roots yet. They're not pulling any nutrients up through roots. Uh, everything's going through the leaves. So if you can add a little CO2 in there to help speed that up, A, your clones are going to root faster, and B, you're going to have healthier clones overall. The cloning gel is very important. I like to use Clonex. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones out there. But the thing about Clonex, it's got the highest concentration of endo 3 butyric acid, which is very important to the cloning process. The next thing is your shears and or razor blade. Cleanliness is next to godliness. So what I would recommend is taking these guys out of the package and going ahead and sterilize them with some isopropyl alcohol or dish soap, whatever you want to do to clean them, but make sure you have clean utensils before you take clones. Lighting is very important. A great light, the Sunblaze 21, it's a simple T5 fixture, two foot, one bulb, and you can get this very close to your dome without burning the dome itself or burning your plants. If you happen to require some type of light stand, those are out there as well. Jumpstart makes them. There's a two foot version, four foot version. So whatever you need, uh, it's definitely out there and available. Without further ado, let's take some clones. Alright, what's going on guys? I'm coming back with you and showing you actually where you need to take a clone and why you need to take it there. Now, cloning is a very easy process to some folks. If you've never done it before, it can be very intimidating. And that's what's hard. The main thing to keep in focus with a clone is that you include a node. And a node is, if you look at where these leaves meet right here and come in contact, that right there is a node. And the space in between it is called an inner node. Okay, anyway, this is not a complete science uh, course here. Make sure you include a node. That's the bottom line. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our rapid rooters. And they do have a nice little Ziploc seal there, which comes in handy for resealing these guys. But keep in mind, all this needs to happen pretty quickly. Clonex gel. We're gonna cut that open and then I like to pour this in another container, that way I don't cross-contaminate or, you know, mess any of this gel up. I can reseal it and use it again. Just a little dab will do you. Go ahead and take my cut. Clean it up just a little bit. Dip it in my gel. And then I'm going straight into this rapid rooter. And that's ready to go. I would make a few more cuts. Once again, you don't want anything that's completely flowering, so I cut that. Cut my leaves at about 60% still on there. You don't want to waste all that surface space. But that would be my final clone. And if you give this guys about seven to 10 days, you'll see we have roots. And I know what you're saying a second ago. Hey, what if I have to take a lot of clones really quickly? You said work as fast as you can. Yeah, I understand. You can take the clones, cut them, put them in water, and then clean them up later and put them in your dome. So what I'm gonna do real quick is show you guys how to do that. Once again, I've included a node. So I'm gonna take my clone, cut it, 45 degree angle, scratch a little bit on that leaf tissue, go directly into my cloning gel, Grab my handy rabbit rooter. And then once again, remove about 40% of the leaf matter. Grab this guy, stick it into my dome. 
Those are clones from earlier. Just make sure they're not all touching. Uh, you don't want those guys to be right next to each other. That's going to promote all kinds of different bad things. You could have bacterial, fungal problems. Anyway, make sure they're not touching. And then, what I like to do is include my handy dandy green pad. All you do with these guys is open them up, wrap them up, and stick them in one of your cells. Then I'd add a little bit of water. Be careful not to overwater these guys. And then close my dome and wait seven to ten days. So I make it look easy, but the more you do it, the more you're going to become comfortable with it. The main thing is don't be scared of cloning. Include a node and humidity, CO2, some of your best friends. Another thing I like to do before I close this dome off is I'll give it just a little bit of water spray. And all this is is tap water. There's nothing special about it. Mist the leaves a little bit. Shut your dome. And watch the humidity grow. But anyway, we'll check back in about 7 to 10 days and let you guys see how the roots are forming. Alright guys, I'm back at you. It's been about a week here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the roots on these clones. And as you can see, we had six clones down and all six clones rooted. So I do like those numbers. And this right here would be the healthiest of all the clones. As you can see, it's got great root development. I really like the color of these. Very bright white roots and a very, very healthy plant. So just to show you that I wasn't lying about the other ones, we'll uh, pull them out. Good root development there, but not nearly as good as that one. Um, and just another one real quick. Once again, great looking white roots, healthy. These guys are almost ready to be transplanted. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave them in the dome for about another week, uh, maybe 10 days. But the reason we're keeping the dome on there is because we do still have our green pad and that's where we're getting our CO2. But we're no longer going to miss these plants because it's not necessary. Uh, now they have roots formed so they're going to be able to pull up nutrients actually through the roots. So we're going to leave them here in the dome and when I'm ready to transplant, we'll get that video out to you guys as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave that in the comment section. Please like our video, subscribe, and we'll have another video coming out shortly. Keep in mind, all these products can be bought at Hydroponics of Birmingham. Thank you guys very much for watching.